Hey guys, we're back here with another install video doing axle shafts on the Samurai. Let me show you some things before we get going too far. Um, I've already finished the driver's side. It's all nice and tight. No play in the wheel. But if we come over here to the passenger side, it's got quite a bit of play in there. Um, the driver's side, I'm taking apart the bearings. They were out of grease, looked a little burnt. Um, but I'll kind of show you how to pull this apart. We'll be doing new outer shafts. The inner shafts I've got to reuse because someone's redid this differential of the 26 spline instead of the 22 stock size. So I ordered the wrong shafts. But let's uh, get her tore down. Okay, we gotta remove the brakes, um, the shielding, the rotor, pull the hub off, um, pull the king pins, which is this top one, and then there's a the bottom one, and then undo this to get the whole knuckle off. We'll clean it all up, inspect it, and then put what parts, put my new parts in. I got new bearings, new seals, um, new, new joints and everything. Um, and then we'll put it back together. Okay, we got it all torn apart. Um, all the parts that need to be reused look okay. They need to be cleaned up. Um, I got all my screws and stuff saved in there so they stay clean and not kicked around. Uh, my bearings are not looking great. Looks like they got a little corrosion on them. Um, the grease in here is not very, it's pretty solid and stiff so I think they've just been ran too long without being greased um, but we'll replace bearings and seals all that stuff um, I gotta reuse that inner shaft um, I just gotta get it off the Burfield joint and then clean everything up and stick it back together so let me uh, go clean this stuff up and then I'll show you as we put it back together okay we're all cleaned up ready for reassembly uh, first we got to put this axle seal in uh, Then we got to put our races in for these the kingpin bearings uh, We got to do the races and bearings for the hub and Then just it all goes back together. Um, I got all my new parts In there, so we'll just start putting it back together. Um, I guess the biggest thing on this um, Axle seal it's got a little groove and a spring that's got to go in towards the differential, so the flat part is towards the outer shaft. Okay, first put this axle seal in. The other side I was able to just push it in. If not, get a socket that matches the outside diameter. This one's being a little tougher. And just kind of tap it in gently. Okay, I'm just going to show this part once. I've got four bearings to do. I got both kingpin bearings and then an inner and outer bearing for the hub. Um, just because it's messy and 
hard to do the camera work. I've got a one of these bearing greasers. So you put your bearing over that. We'll have garbage be inside there. And this screws down. And with these, you got to be careful to get them tight enough, but not too tight. Um, you can use the by hand method where you just get some grease in your hand and press it into the bearings. This might just be a little faster. It's not really any cleaner. Um, it's not bad on these little ones, but the bigger bearings, they make a mess. I got my grease gun. We'll start doing about five pumps of grease. Just, I don't want to have it, I've had it squirt out the sides before when it's not been tight, so I don't want to waste a bunch of grease. Okay, you can see inside there where there's grease starting to come out the bearing. That means it's worked its way through. And you just gotta unscrew it. And your bearing, it's all full of grease inside there. You usually have quite a bit of excess on here. You can take that and rub it around the outer side so it's fully greased. Um, I don't think you can grease these too much. Okay, this one's for the lower kingpin, so I'm gonna set that one to the side for a minute. Um, Cause I can't really put that one in there until I'm ready to fully assemble. But let me get the rest of these uh, the other kingpin and then the hub bearings done and then we'll move on to the next step okay guys we got all the bearings greased we're ready to start reassembly uh, let me show you what we got going on okay we got to put the clip into here and then it'll install in the new outer joint which is in here luckily it comes pre-greased uh, just when you put that in, you want to make sure it locks in there, in that groove. Um, I do have the new retaining clip in there. Then you put the shaft in there. And then we'll put the knuckle ball on. Uh, put the kingpins back in, get them. You're supposed to set for your um, backlash, whatever it's called, just your resistance. Uh, make sure you get the proper tightness. Uh, but I can't really do that because with my king pin it's hooked to the tie rods and I don't want to pull the tie rod ends off. Um, but I've got power steering so I don't think it'll be a huge issue if it's a little, probably be a little more than less I guess would be better. Um, and then the spindle goes in, the brake bracket and then the hub and everything goes on there. Um, and then we'll do these, this back part last. I might need help getting that done um, just to get all the holes lined up. Another option you use is if you get some studs that fit in the holes, you can put a couple studs in to get everything lined up and then put the bolts in and then pull your studs out. And then same with the final clip, uh, but when you put your hub on, your locking hub on is, that might be a two person job to get that clip on. So we'll see how it goes.
Okay, we've got these axle nuts put on. Um, I don't know if they're quite torqued to spec because I couldn't get a socket that was deep enough to tighten it. Uh, but I tightened it where it still moves freely, but it doesn't it doesn't wiggle in and out no matter how hard I try. Um, so you got the back nut, this locking key, and then this front one. So what you need to do is on these little tabs, you need to find one that matches closest to the front and bolt fold it out and then find one that matches close to the rear and fold it back to lock them so they can't spin. Um, and that's what keeps them tight. Okay, now we're to where we're installing these. So we got these retaining things. We'll go this way. And then this rides up inside there. Then you got the bottom half, and then we have the pad. And then we have this other bracket. We'll go up and down where they don't, the seams don't overlap. Um, it's pretty tricky to get them all started, so I won't be able to hold the camera. Um, but basically that's the step they go in, um, and you got eight screws to hold them in place. Okay, we got that all installed. Um, again, the order goes, it goes the chrome retaining ring, and then the rubber seal, then the pad, which is the cloth pad, and then the outer bolts. Uh, they all get torqued to eight pounds. Put a little grease on the outside of the ball so it all can move smoothly. Um, now it's just time to put the brakes back on and the tire on and see how it works. I'm on these, you just want to double check. See we're in free range mode. The drive shaft isn't spinning. And we put it in the lock. Now we're spinning the drive shaft. Let's make sure you got smooth operations on the hubs. So let's uh, get these brakes and this wheel on and be done.